Hello and welcome to Tantrum House. Next week we're going to be doing some live tweeting from Ravenwood in the Hocking Hills of Ohio. My home state. So check out Kevin's experience at their two-day murder mystery event. Yeah, if you're going to be there, say hi to him. He'll be the guy in the tall top hat. Today we're going to review the 2014 Spiel des Jahres winner, Camel Up. Yeah, so let's check it out in our Terrible 2 Minute Review. <laughs> Camel Up is a two to eight player game uh, designed by Stephen Bogan and it's published by Z-Man Games in here in the US. It is a lighthearted family game, but it involves some luck, some strategy, some probability analysis, and plenty of guessing. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, uh, all the camels line up at the starting line, and then throughout the game, you're basically gambling on who will win the race, the player with the most coins at the end wins. On your turn, you have plenty of options to choose from. You can roll a dice to determine how far a camel moves. Which, by the way, sorry to interrupt. This may be the coolest dice tower I've ever seen. Well, I mean, after ours, of course, but pretty epic. <clears throat> Continue. Or you can lay a tile, which will affect the movement of where the camels fall. Or you can bet on the overall winner or loser of the race. Or you can just bet on who's going to win that particular leg of the race. There's also this really cool mechanic built in where the, as the camels move, based on whatever dice order they come out in, uh, they stack up on each other. So depending on what order those dice come in, could totally you know turn the race on its head. The camel to cross the finish line first, or who is carried across on top first, comes in first place. And then whoever had the best winnings after the end is the winner of the game. All right, let's rate it. Theme. Uh, I like the theme on this a lot. It's very unique. I've never seen a camel race game before. Uh, I love the board layout for it. All the pieces have a little spot that they go in. All the artwork is really nice. Um, it, it works really well with the mechanic as well. Tell us about the mechanic. Like we said before, the stacking thing really makes it interesting when it comes to pre trying to predict a winner. And while there is a lot going on, it's a very easy game to learn and it only takes about 30 minutes. Very smooth gameplay. Enjoyability. Uh, I do enjoy this game a lot. It's fun. Uh, I just talked to some new people last week. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. Uh, we haven't played it a lot. We need to play it some more. That's called replayability. I agree. <laughs> it's just like when you think you have the outcome figured out, the camels all restack themselves, and then you're just hoping that the dice comes in your favor and your camel recovers. Yeah, good stuff. Tantrum Mouse gives this game two camel thumbs up. up. Did my bang fall over? Because I had a bang that was falling. Thunder, 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 stone. Tantrum, 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 tantrum. House. Tantrum These are not here. camels that are supposed to be in Egypt. These are right. Asian camels. Right, because they're double. Theme. Word. <laughs> Info. The more you know. Do, 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 do.